morning, everyone. I would like to interview Mrs. Brandstetter, who is a co-owner of Expiration Acres. Sadly, their season is over and they are closed as of right now, but I would still like to ask her a couple questions. So first of all, how long do you guys usually run for? Uh, we have a seven-week season that typically runs from mid-September through October. And then before we uh, did this interview, you told me that you guys had an encore weekend, correct? And that was this previous weekend? Correct. Correct. We just wanted to give people one more chance to come out uh, because we had so many bad weather days um, to use their tickets that they had purchased online. All right. All right. Secondly, for people who don't know, how much do you guys charge and what other activities do you guys offer besides your corn maze? Um, we charge $11.50 for an adult, which is age 13 and up. We charge $8 for a child age 6 to 12, and 5 and under are free. Um, you can purchase tickets online uh, for a discounted rate of $9.50 $9 for an adult. Um, and we have a lot of other activities that are included with that price, uh, like the slide, the tumble tubes. Um, we have a few activities that are an additional charge once you come in, like laser tag, uh, the corn cannon, and a gem mine. And then you also said before we started this that you only allow service dogs for animals, correct? Just for liability? Correct. Correct. All right. Next, how do you guys come up with ideas for your corn maze? Uh, we think about things that are popular with the teenagers um, or anniversaries in history, and those help us uh, figure out what we're going to do the next year. And what are your, uh, what's your favorite thing about being a part of something so popular? Um, my favorite is just being able to meet and greet everyone that comes in um, and see, you know, what a great time they're having. All right. And lastly, what things are you looking forward to next year? Um, figuring out what new activity we're going to add because we try to add something new every year. And you said you added laser tag. That was the most recent one, right? Um, it, we've had that for several years, laser tag, and it's only $4 for unlimited play. All right. Well, that looks like it. I just want to say thank you to Mrs. Brandstetter. This wasn't easy for her, <laughs> and we'll see you guys later.